Welcome to uh, another session of Cosmic Coaching with Daniel. Today I want to talk about something a little bit more esoteric, superhero archetype. We have all the superheroes in the comics and the movies, everybody from Iron Man to Spider-Man, Batman, Daredevil, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, all the superheroes you can think of. And they inspire something in human beings. It's the uh, kind of inspiring the hero's journey archetype. And my feeling is human beings uh, all have that desire to find the superhero inside. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we have to look towards humanity and see the real superheroes. So if you look around uh, in the history of this planet, last 100 years or so, you'll find some extraordinary human beings doing extraordinary things. Think about some of the great composers like Mozart. Mozart was alleged to be able to repeat a whole composition on a single hearing and play it out and then improvise it. You've got people like Bruce Lee who could do extraordinary things in terms of coordination. Uh, Hand-eye coordination was off the charts highly tuned nervous system, incredible. And you've got a modern day version of that, uh, a musical savant named Derek Paravicini. And he's autistic and blind, and he can basically reproduce any piece of music uh, hearing it the first time. But what he can do is more interesting than that. If you ask him to play a piece of music, like a jazz standard, he can play it in the style of anybody you ask him to. You say, play that piece in the style of uh, Bach or some jazz artist or ragtime. He can, for instance, play Third Movement of Moonlight Sonata in various styles of different musical genres. And it's hard to explain how he can do that, how this is even possible. And you see just a whole spectrum of people with savant-like abilities. Uh, numerical savants, calendar savants, sculpting savants, and musical savants, and the list goes on. Now some of these people were born with these abilities and often they seem to lack other sort of common sense abilities. But you've got someone like Jason Paget who, perfectly normal individual, wasn't particularly good in mathematics or academics, gets beaten up, gets several hits to the head in this uh, late night beating, he ends up with a severe concussion, damage to his kidneys, and post-traumatic stress disorder. What's interesting about his case is, he acquired savant-like abilities afterwards. He's like a mathematical or geometry savant. He started to see things uh, externally in objects that didn't exist before. So for him, reality is moving, he can see the frames. You think of our eyes taking pictures and smoothing them out, he can actually see the frames moving. And more than that, he can see geometry and everything and he draws it. So if you check him out, he draws these fascinating uh, geometrical realities that look like a computer drew them. How is he able to do that? He didn't have the abilities before the beating, the concussion, yet suddenly he's got these abilities which presumably were dormant in him. And if they were dormant in him, they're dormant in everybody. So you look at abilities like these music savants, whether it was acquired or they had it from birth, typically people are born with such savant-like abilities. Some of them are artistic but they lack something, they lack some basic common sense and logic abilities, abilities to socialize. In this case of Jason, we see a perfectly normal individual who suddenly acquires off the charts mathematical geometric abilities and sees reality completely different. That means the ability is there dormant within the human brain. And that brings us to an interesting idea, uh, and that's the existence proof. Basically, if there's a single human being who can do a thing, who can do a skill, or has a gift, it's possible for all human beings in principle to acquire it. Just like you see incredible chess grandmasters and international grandmasters, most people can't play chess at that level, yet a few 
uh, individuals, a subset of individuals, can play at the various highest levels. A subset of individuals on this planet have composed the most lofty of music and can improvise and do extraordinary things. So we have to ask ourselves, if this is possible for a few individuals, why isn't it possible for most of us? And for me, the quick answer would be, it is possible in principle, just most human beings don't seem to have the you know, physical, neurological, physiological apparatus to do such things. And part of it is a belief game. We just come to this world with certain levels, baseline abilities, and we think that's all we got. But if we look around at these people, these artists, these inventors, these savants, these musicians, these martial artists, um, these super mathematicians, if we look around at them, we can say, well, they've got that ability, it must be possible. A human brain can do that because it's been demonstrated if a single human being can do it, although it may be improbable, it's possible. So the, the takeaway from all this is what I want to suggest to you is you have a superhero within you. You have the ability to do far more than you ever believed. The answer is, is around us and, and it's, it's in the evidence around us in human beings who have done extraordinary things and continue to do so. You get a bang on the head and suddenly you can do these amazing mathematical things. Why aren't there more Bruce Lee type individuals in the world? There are certainly advanced martial artists. And for whatever reason, this human being was born with an extraordinarily developed nervous system. And he continued to fine tune it and hone it. He already kind of had the, the basic ingredients. So I think the key is to understand within our genetic heritage and with our neurological constructs, the brain is capable of doing outstanding things. We have it within our genetics. We have it within our physiology and our nervous systems. It's built in as a blueprint. So if you can take that as an inspiration and think of yourself as a superhero in the making, what type of new ability would you like to acquire? What type of skill, what type of gift would you like to develop? It may seem like an impossible thing. It may seem like something that's just very unlikely for you to do. So you can work with baby steps. You can kind of develop along a certain direction and see if you can master a skill that you previously was not available to you. And often the greatest limitation is simply that of the mind. We just think, well, I'm just not capable of doing that that particular skill. And yet, with practice, with training, and things of that nature, we know that it's possible to rewire the brain. We know that it's possible to heal from strokes. Again, there's been evidence of this with individuals who have had severe strokes and then get their language back, their physical coordination. There's people born with partial brains. There are people who have, have gone blind and suddenly you know, they learn to read Braille and the brain reroutes itself and the formerly visual areas suddenly are rerouted to do fine-tuned sensing in the fingertips. So we know that the brain has enormous capabilities of rewiring neuroplasticity off the charts. We're just beginning to understand what the brain is capable of. So if we can open up our mind set, we can open up to the idea that there's this universe of possibilities, of gifts, talents, and skill sets that we have yet to tap into. And we can just kind of open that doorway into a matrix of possibility. I believe that within most human beings lies a variety of uh, kind of superhero capabilities that have been shut down and suppressed in us because we simply didn't have the belief mechanisms and the mental programming to allow these things to unfold. So this has been a very kind of esoteric session. I just wanted to inspire you and cultivate the sort of the belief habits to just be able to open up the possibility of what it is that you want to explore. What is it that you want to do? Whether it's manifesting some new reality in your life, creating something, uh, you know, a new invention, a new product, developing a new skill set, a new hobby, learning new things uh, that you didn't think were possible. Whatever that is, open up to the universal, universal qualities within you because you have a brain 
a central nervous system, an autonomic nervous system, a brain in your gut, a brain in your heart. You have within you the DNA that's capable of changing and being overwritten. We know this from epigenetics. So with that said, I'm going to suggest to you um, the sky's the limit. If you can open your mind to possibilities, take these superhero human beings, these archetypal uh, geniuses that have already done all these things and continue to do so, they're on the planet right now, and say to yourself, what new thing or skill or gift or ability, spectrum of knowledge, might I like to acquire? Just open yourself up to that possibility and sort of tap into some kind of new superhero abilities within you. See if you can replicate something that you aspire to, that you admire in other human beings or someone who has lived or someone who's on the planet right now. So for me, it's pretty clear if Jason Paget can do what he can do because he got a couple bangs in the head, it, these are dormant capabilities that we all have. So why is it we can't yet do that? That's that's the mystery, that's the question. You know, maybe these things are need to be developed slowly. Or maybe they've been suppressed for, ver for various reasons. Maybe we've been held back. The spectrum of mental outlooks, the, the belief systems that we have as human beings have been severely curtailed and limited. So we just kind of just believe that certain things are possible and we don't go outside that. So I'd say the key is openness believing in what's possible and taking this idea of the existence proof that, well, people have already done it. The human nervous system can do these things. Why don't I? Why can't I? What's going to stop me from trying? Worst thing you can do is, worst thing that can happen is, well, it doesn't work out. But isn't it worth the try? What dream or aspiration have you avoided because you just thought it was too far to reach, too much work, that you considered impossible, or that you considered you didn't have enough talents for. What is that? Just think about that. Think about the the genius that is our human brain and genetics and the brains and the heart. And we got this extraordinary three-part nervous system and then some. I suggest to you as we continue to break through certain um, myths about what the brain can do, the frontiers of neuroscience, neuroplasticity, are expanding into ever new territory all the time. And that should give us all hope with epigenetics and neuroplasticity, heart intelligence, all of us as human beings to be able to tune into and tap into and create or recreate or, you know, birth for the very first time some kind of superhero capability within you that you aspire to. Whatever that is, I leave it to you. Thanks so much. Um, if you'd like some kind of inspirational coaching, I do empathic, heart-centered counseling, life coaching from a holistic basis, and also brain health consultations. So just click on the link below this video or on my channel, and would love to uh, chat with you for a coaching session. Have a great day.